Today we're placing Alyssa to the Gold Digger test, and this by far will be the most explosive and unpredictable episode yet. Why is it explosive, and why is it unpredictable? Wait, what is he doing? I got my suspicions. I don't got facts yet, bro. But. Hopefully, we can provide Yancey with that proof. It's now time to hit up our plug and make sure we have the right bait for this episode. Again, Yancey knows exactly where to sit, so he's going to sit Alyssa down, and Yancey has the water that you're going to be drinking. Got it. Everything seems to be going as planned. They seem to be headed to the bench, and Yancey has brought the boss water bottle with him. But then suddenly, both of them come to an abrupt, unexpected halt. We honestly have no clue what is going on, but she Alyssa removes her, her bag and then hands bag. Yancey her phone. Wait, what? Is she taking pictures on your car? <laughs> <laughs> did anybody see, like, who, who, who said it? Did it come from her or did it come from him? Okay, this is honestly a first, guys. The test hasn't even begun, but Alyssa has already displayed interest in the six-figure freaking car. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Uh, Why are you I'm already interested. If it came from her, that's a bad sign already. <laughs> Alyssa's little photo shoot wraps up, and Yancey seems stunned and confused as to what they just happened. I don't even think fun. he himself expected this. But now amidst him handing her back her phone and then holding her things and now being confused, Alyssa now takes the lead on this date and is leading them to the wrong freaking bench. He's going to the wrong bench? No! <laughs> text him, text him, text him, text him, text him. Tell him he's going to the wrong bench. Damn it! <laughs> now they're at the correct bench, which means phase one can begin. You ready for this? I'm this ready. is all you? Give it, give it, give it like a minute. <laughs> I hope I don't at trust this time, it. Yancey is now making up his excuse hope that he has to use it. the restroom. However, at this particular park, there are no restrooms. So we instructed him to mention to Alyssa that he think he saw a porta potty just around the corner of the park. That, of course, is a lie. What will really be happening is I will be jumping in my car and then heading to the end of the park, and Yancey will then hop in my car so he could see everything that is going down in this phase. I'm on my way, baby. I'm on my way, Yancey. Don't worry. Oh, I was about to hit that. Oh, Lord. She gonna see the rolly. She said, you gonna be good. She gonna see the rolly. Uh, everything is going good. Nick is making his entrance, and I'm on my way to get Yancey. There are the boys. I think Nick already is making his entrance. But despite everything going really, really good, I'm a bit concerned that Alyssa might be able to see Yancey hopping into the car, and that's because we don't get as much cover from the trees as I thought we would. Oh, my God. I think that was obvious. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was obvious. I think she saw you get in the car. That ass? I don't know. It was pretty obvious to me. No, I don't think so. She doesn't even have good vision, bro. No? Nah. Positive? She don't. I have good oh, vision. Like <laughs> it's simple. We must get her number. Excuse me? I'm sorry. I don't mean to be weird. I'm just like dying. I ran like three miles. Can I get a simple water, please? Oh, Small sure, sip. Sure. No, you're fine. Okay, thank you. Perhaps because it's not her water, Alyssa makes things very easy and is kind enough to give Nick a sip. Meanwhile, back in the car, we finally learned the truth about the picture that Alyssa took with the IA. She asked for a picture in front of the car, bro. It came from her. It because came we, from her. We, we, no, we saw you guys taking pictures, and we were like, okay, who did it come from? Was it Yancey who was like, hey, Girl, let's take a picture? Or was it her that said, I want to take a picture? She here? was like, that's a sexy-ass car. I was like, facts. So she's like, babe, can you take a picture? I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, stop fake flexing. That's, stop fake flexing. That's, I don't fake flex. That's a bad sign, Yancey. I'm going to say it right now. I mean, get a little yeah, set. get over. You're fine. Can, you I, can I put my lips on it? Is it? Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, have as much as you want. Don't mind at all if we do, Alyssa. I mean, guys, even if Alyssa didn't offer Nick to have as much water as he wanted, the plan was always for him to chug all of it anyways. <sighs> you might as well finish it. <sighs> oh, Thirsty son of a bitch. Damn, you that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I can finish it? Yeah, you're what? good. Okay. You drank it all anyways. Yes, this is all a part of the plan because now technically Nick owes Alyssa either a new water bottle or some money. I really feel like I owe you a water bottle. You really don't. You don't. I have a dollar. I have a dollar. Let me, let me, help, please. <laughs> so now here's how Nick's car comes in. Nick will mention to her that he has some money in his car, which just so happens to be parked right behind him. He will ask her to walk over to it with him as he searches. Yeah, let me see. I have one in here. But of course, he's only doing this so she could get a closer look at the car. And speaking of cars, Yancey and I are still in my Ferrari, but we're making our way around right now. Oh, you just doing good the car. You, you, you got a duck. You got a duck right here when I make this turn. You got a duck. It's okay. Somewhere. Unfortunately, Nick will come up short and be able to find no money in his car. It might be, it might be in the trunk actually, hold on. Again, this is all a part of the plan though. Since Nick feels super guilty about drinking Alyssa's water, we have laid out the perfect opportunity for him to now ask for Alyssa's number in order to pay her back later. Here's what I'm gonna do. I, I owe you, I'm gonna take down your number, <laughs> and and I'm gonna get you two water bottles. No, I, no. Like, he's like, he, he, he looked like he got this though. He's yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, she went straight to the car. I know, she, she's at the car right now. Just know it's a part of the test. Like, she hasn't failed yet. Okay. Sound good? <laughs> so in understanding, Alyssa allows Nick the opportunity to pay her back. With her now putting in her number in Nick's phone, phase one is officially complete. I'm gonna make sure you get two water balls. I might even do a whole case just because it's like, you know, it's good water. He's done his job. Alyssa is now headed back to the bench, and now I can begin to bring back Yancey to where I picked him up. Phase one is now over. 
or is it? Hey, actually, do you already, what are you doing right now? Uh, okay. Wait, what is he doing? What the fuck? Why the fuck is she getting her back? Wait, what? No! 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 Oh, the car, what the fuck she got in the car, son? Sergio always been a goofy ass. So this is three years ago. This is a three year ago Sergio. He's still a fucking dumbass. Why the fuck she got in the car, son? No! Look at Sergio. No! Why the fuck she got in the car, son? <laughs> she did not. No, this was not. This was not. No. This is definitely not a part of the test. We never encourage our decoys to do any more than what we ask of them. But then again, maybe we're freaking out for no reason. Maybe all Nick is doing is just showing her the inside of his car. Like, I don't know where we're going. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah. Why do I? Why do I just drive away? Or what? Do it. Just do it. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> okay, I guess not. You left your stuff there. Is that your stuff over there? Is that your jacket or your bag or something? That's my jacket. Okay, call her up right now and be like, where you at? I don't see you. I just came back from the porta potty. That's a good that. idea. Call oh, I'm it. calling. I'm calling. Hello? Where you at? You left my jacket on the bench. Where you at? What came up? No, it's just something with my mom, okay? My mom called me and... My mom. Something happened and I took something care of it, okay? I would, I would have took you to your mom's house. She don't even live that far. Okay, well, it was really urgent. And I just needed to come out. I didn't know where you were and I couldn't wait for you, okay? He just <laughs> drove off with it. That's crazy. <laughs> this dumbass still on the phone. How, where are you? Where'd you go? I could have, I could have took you to your mom. in the background. I just heard a dude. It's Uber or something. You obviously don't trust me. Why do you fucking trust me? Granted, because we didn't have headphones and weren't listening in, we don't exactly know why Alyssa jumped into the car. You single right now? It is barely phase one, and this test is done. This is what should happen at like phase three. And honestly, I did not think Nick was the kind of guy to be like, "Yo, get in my car, let's go." <laughs> What in the world? I didn't think Nick was the type of guy to steal your bitch. You, you literally put him up to the test. I didn't. Why? For three years, this motherfucker never expecting any of these guys to do what guys do. Personally, I think it's it don't make no sense, bro. This test. However, Yancey thinks otherwise still. I want to keep this shit going. I don't want to catch her looking stupid. It has now been over 20 minutes, and it's clear now that they're not coming back. However, Yokes just received a text from Nick. Hopefully, it details exactly what just happened. I think Yancey could use some hope and some peace of mind right now. Hey, she wants me to take her home. Hey, I'm going grab some water and she asked me to take her to her mom's house. Something came up. Something came up. That fits up. in with what she was telling you in the car. But she's still trying to play it off. The texts are broad, but as they kept coming in, we finally understood what happened. Apparently, Nick took Alyssa to simply get her water right then and there. What are you doing right now? Uh, okay. Yeah. Do you wanna, I mean, we can just go to the store right now and get some water. Right now? Yeah, we'll be quick. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll be quick. Okay. Just grab your stuff, yeah. But here's what I don't understand. If they're just going to the store to get two waters, why would she feel the need to lie to Yancey like that? According to Nick, his only intentions were honestly to just get her two water bottles. I mean, I guess maybe Alyssa could have felt guilty for leaving Yancey's jacket behind. Nah, oh, nah, nah. It was all for the best. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, this guy's fucking. A handshake now settles the beef, and we are good to move on to phase number two. Let's call her up and let's see if she wants to come over. Wait, why you would be mad at him? What the fuck? Hey, it's Nick. That's his sexy voice. Write this down, chat. Hey, it's Nick. I might need to talk like that. Hey, it's Nick. Oh, that's smooth. Chat, that's how I'm gonna be on the phone. Hey, it's Reese. Hey, how are you doing? Oh. What's up? Are you are you okay? I don't know. I just kind of, you know, I ran off, but like it seemed like you're in an argument, and I just want to make sure everything was all right. Yeah, no, I'm good. It, it happened, so okay. We plans on executing phase number two at Nick's home, which means that Nick now has to convince Alyssa to come over. Preach, I thought you it'd be cool. Hey, you, you know, maybe wanted to hang out later. Uh, but like tonight? Yeah, like in. I mean, what are you doing right now? I mean, I just got out of the shower. Remember, because Nick already got Alyssa new water, we can't use that anymore as an excuse to getting her to come over, which means that now we simply have to rely on Nick's cunning. Do you, you have no plans though? No, not really. All right, good. Well, I think you should get ready and you know, maybe we can hang out tonight. And finally, after a couple of minutes of conversation, Nick finally manages to convince Alyssa to come. So, I don't know, can you get ready in like an hour or two? Uh, sure, why not? But just because Alyssa's okay. coming over doesn't mean it's a date. This is just a friendly hangout. 
at least for the time being. It's How is this friendly, friendly at, at all? If I'm inviting some girl to my crib I just met, we ain't going to be watching TV. We ain't going to be eating pizza. You know what I'm saying? Yancey's feeling a little nervous, and he has every reason to. Melissa will be coming over to Nick's million-dollar home. He has called her an Uber to get her here, but there was a slight complication. I think I'm lost. I'll go there, and I'll see her outside. Okay, you... begins. Let's remind you guys of the purpose of this face. Once again, it's very simple. Nick must show off that he is balling. Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> That's actually, like, there's a rock's house over there. Like, somewhere, really? like, yeah, across the, yeah, across the hill. Yeah. Now Nick will take her inside and brag to her some more. <laughs> Don't tell my my dog. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> She's friendly. Her name's Russia. Hi. Now that they are inside, this will be our best opportunity to run across. We just have to wait for the perfect opening. So, like, do you actually own this? Like, is this... Yeah, this is like, I own it. Yeah. Cool. It is now or never. Perfect. We have made it to safety without getting caught, and now all that's left to do is to link onto a phone call with Nick. And the wine, which by the way, we did not tell him to offer, but whatever's. The tour is over, and no so is phase way. two. We Nick, now immediately shift to phase drunk. number three. Let me now inform you of the purpose of this phase. It is simple. Nick video. will ask Alyssa no, we're, out. We're in too deep in this one. We gotta see if Alyssa busting it open. So are you, are you from LA? Yeah. Because I might need to call her. I've lived here my whole life. I'm it wasn't like a ghost, friend. it was a dog. Yeah? You just moved here? Where are you from originally? Nick begins to spit his game and they engulf into a conversation. We are listening to everything, but mainly just waiting for him to pop the question. Yeah, I mean, what, what do you do? It's hard to put into like one category, but okay. I do marketing. Okay. And I do, uh, like, have you ever heard of like currencies? Like trading currencies? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. so I do that. I'm not gonna lie guys, they are having a very long conversation. I mean, he is asking her what her dreams are. I, I mean, like I wanna be on Broadway, so. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, here we go. 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 I'm just gonna be super upfront. I like you. Like my, oh. like it's just like a, it's a, like I said, it's an intuition, but it's I just know. You just know. Yeah, I just know. Oh. Anyways, I think that we should just figure out if we like each other, and okay. we should, and we should guess. <laughs> huh? Wait, what? Did I hear that correctly? And we should guess. And we should. Guess. And we should Oh my god, what is happening? Uh, kiss. Yeah, we should guess. I, I just met you. He ain't about to kiss her, bro. She's not gonna let him. She won't let him. For the sake of a fist fight. <laughs> she won't let him. She won't let him. Motherfucker, you don't know that. Not breaking out. Please tell me Nick is not serious. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like that's just moving really fast. Red is on. <laughs> he feel like he being set up. <laughs> the worst case scenario is like you'll be like, man, this guy's actually kind of a good kisser. But maybe it's like maybe it's not instant connection. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm okay with that. If you want to go stop it now, if you want to go stop it now, see, I want to see if she's going to kiss. No, him. She, she's obviously no, going to kiss. Him. Him. I want to see the she's kiss. I want to see the kiss. She's obviously going to kiss him. Otherwise, she ain't saying nothing yet. She ain't saying nothing yet. Otherwise, she would have said no. Bro, she ain't saying nothing yet. She's going to kiss Nick. There's no doubt about it. They've gotten to know each other. They have been sipping wine, and it sounds like she is dead thinking about it. If I could, I would go back in time and stop the video right here and now. But you know, look at his face. They're kissing. I don't want to hear a make out. I don't want to hear them making out. Oh my God. <laughs> that, I mean, I thought that was pretty good. Like, I think, I think, I think we, I think we got a, like, Tell me how you feel, Yancy. Even though I already know how you feel, tell me how you feel. I'm gonna beat your boy's ass. That's how. You can't do that. <laughs> Beat your boys ass. He was just he, he's playing the decoy and sure he took it far, but I mean heck, we saw this coming since phase one. We saw this I coming. I see none of this coming, bro. <laughs> you just in love with her and you're blind to the fact that she's You could have saw this coming in phase one. I ain't see shit. <laughs> this boy, look at y'all. Bro, it's a 50-50. It, it's a 50-50. Right. And she's been failing this whole oh, I time. Guess, I, guess, I guess she gave her 50, but your boy is going too far. Maybe he is, but again, like we saw this coming oh since phase one. She jumps in the car. God. Okay, sure, it was just for two water, water bottles, but still, she jumped into a car with a stranger. Phase number two, she comes to the house. Phase number three, she does that. You get me? It's like we saw this coming. Like, you can't just go in there and beat his ass and everything. Like, first I, of all, I wanna you, go in, though. first off, go he's in, probably going to sue you. Second, he's going to sue me, and I don't want to get sued. Like, if you want to confront someone, confront your 
girl. That's who you gotta uh, confront. Right. Okay, so now my question to you. I'm gonna talk to her. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do nothing to your boy. I just want to talk to him. Okay. Do you understand that you cannot touch? What's his bro, face? Bro, I ain't touching no one. I ain't. I promise you, I ain't touching no one. Okay. I got respect for you, bro. I ain't touching I, no I, one. I, I knew something good was gonna happen today. I felt it. Yeah. yeah. When I was running, I like felt it, like, you know. Yeah. Me too, honestly. You did? Yeah. You're just saying that. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm being serious. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's go, Alyssa, you want to tell me why you're trying to make another guy? Are you fucking stupid? Hey, Alyssa, my name is Sergio. I just want to let you know this entire thing was actually all a test and everything, and the truth is that Nick is just a decoy that we used to see if he would end up trading Yancey for him and stuff. After all so, the fucking time and money I spell you, you want to tell me why you with this dude? Jesus Christ, calm the fuck down. Now I'm not going to calm down. Fuck that. Don't tell me what Calm it. the fuck down. I don't want to talk to you if you're just going to get fucking aggravated. Of course I'm going to get fucking aggravated. You kiss the dude. You see what the fuck you just did? I do, but calm down if you want me to talk fuck to you. Fuck that ain't gonna calm down. You kiss homeboys. I swear don't tell me what to do. Bruh, don't look at me. Don't look at me, bro. I knew it was a test. I you kiss him. Board. You kiss him. I spent mad money on you. You straight oh. up said you wanted to trade me for another guy. I'm not the one who needs to get checked. That's you. Okay, I know. So check me. You fucking kiss him. Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> I spent mad fucking money on you. Mad fucking time on you. Every fucking contract I take, I'll bring you. You see how stupid you sound? Okay, no one told you to spend that money on me. Okay? Oh. Just look at this man! Look you at him! You see how stupid you sound? Okay, but no one told you to spend that money on me. Look okay. at him! <laughs> this is so good, I can't lie. This shit is fucking stupid, man. Okay? What is this Fuck show? Off. You're my fucking girl! Oh, I spent money on you because I- What does being your girl have to do with anything? I didn't force you to spend money on me, you did this shit on your own! Because you're my girl! Y'all are fucking funny. You spent funny, that money bro. on your own. I didn't make you do that. Y'all so are stop fucking, fucking funny. Tripping, okay? Don't try to blame all this shit on me. This is your fault. I'm tripping. I'm tripping because you traded me with no has a fucking taste. I don't know. I go with what feels right in my life and you just don't feel right anymore. So fuck is you trying to say? You don't give a fuck? You don't care about huh? me? I'm saying I go with what feels right in my life and you don't feel right anymore. And look, I'm sorry you had to find out about it this way, but it is what it is, and at the end of the day, it's my life, and I can be with whoever the fuck I want. So who the fuck you want to be with? Him! Can you please leave us alone? Oh my god, you've already embarrassed me enough! Are you fucking stupid? He doesn't want to be with you! Sure! Whatevs! I don't care! Can you please leave? Oh, listen! Do you do a shit test? That this is not real? That he's just a deep? Yes! Yes! Okay, cool! I don't give a shit, okay? Please fucking leave! Oh my god! Get these fucking cameras out! Wait, don't touch me, don't touch me. Oh my god, no, you gotta leave, don't you gotta leave. Alyssa, leave right Alyssa, now. Alyssa. Leave. How's she kicking them out of their house? But nonetheless, she trying to get her freak on. That's all, the wine is hitting her different. Get the fuck out! It's not like it's fucking real! It's not fucking real! I'm breaking up with you, Yancey! Tell me you wanna fucking do Fuck you, suck my dick! Fuck you! I could tell he from New York. That confirmed it. Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! One by one, Alyssa kicks us out of the house that doesn't even belong to her. But but why did y'all leave? I don't get why would y'all leave the house? And the decoy stayed in the house. To avoid the cameras being wrecked, we oblige. I honestly thought Yancey was going to barge in there and hit Nick, but he actually kept his word. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to talk to her. I ain't going right, to end with it. Alyssa staying in the house. She needs to get out of there and she needs to go home. She can, can go can, back living in my house, girl. I'm can, done, bro. Can, can we call Nick and have him explain to her that this was all a test and none of it was real? And can we, like, tell him just, mm. like, kick her out? No, because, Nick is in character. Like, I feel horrible. No, Nick she is locked in. in. She has to understand it was all a test. Yeah. Nick about to have a good time. He about to get his money's worth. So we give Nick a couple of calls, but surprisingly, he does not answer. I wonder why Nick isn't answering. We don't know what is going on inside. All we know is that he is in there by himself with Alyssa. We try and try again and still get no response. Why the fuck is he not answering? Because he's busy doing something. Alyssa has drastically failed phase one, phase two, and phase three, so I don't blame Yancey at all for assuming the worst when Nick does not pick up. But after about 10 minutes of waiting and no answer, Yancey can wait no more and takes things into his own hands. All right, Yancey, let's not do anything dumb. This man is a millionaire and he can sue us. Oh, Lord. Open the fucking door! Yo, Nick. What? Get the fuck out. No! Get the fuck out. What the fuck? Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Hey, yo, G. Why you got this like that? Look, Get the fuck out, Nancy. You told me to test her. I tested her. Alyssa said this wasn't real. This is a test. He's a decoy. You, I think you mean you have to get out of here. Yeah, get the fuck out, Yancy. Wait, this really his house? 
Wait, no, time out, time out, time out. This is the first time they actually used a decoy who actually had money. No, wait. So he can stay there with her, like, legally. Legally, he can stay there with... Oh, y'all fucked up. Who the fuck are you talking to like that? Oh, no, it's right. over with. Uh, she but got I don't even want to go there. What I'm saying, though, is like, look, it was a test and I went too far. But I still want us to be good. We good? Yeah. She got to get the fuck out, though. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to just kick her outside, but, like, you know, get her Uber home. Yeah. Nah, I'll take her home. It's all good. You don't got to worry about her. Okay. I mean. All right. You straight? You're going to take her home? I'm going to take her home. It's I all mean, good. I mean, I think you should settle Shorty down. live with me. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure she's good. Going home with you, good. I'm not saying. Oh, I'm straight. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not saying I'm straight. I'm straight. Whoa. I'm out of blood, but let me tell you. Like, right now, I just want to make sure you're good. Like you, you know, take a deep Look, breath. I'm good. Okay. Just leave it at that. I'm well, good. It's her, it's her choice. Look, you straight? Yeah. You leave it at that. Yeah. You leave it at that, all right? All right, all right, then. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. What? Come on. I'm not going anywhere with you. Come on, I ain't playing with you. Come on. Look, he just closed the door on you, Alyssa. You have to leave now. Whatever. Fuck you guys. Fuck! Fuck all of this! What the fuck fuck you! What the fuck? You don't, you don't fucking trust you. me? He still got her number. He could tell her pull up later. It ain't even that big a deal. Money really was trying to get his man's wet. Like he, you gonna take her home? that boy, yeah. funny. You good? I'm straight. You sure? That man is funny, bro. Y'all do anything for these girls. Money was ready to risk the whole test for this girl. He don't even know her. He got one kiss and he ready to risk it all. I'm thinking, straight blood, I'm right. straight. I'll take care of you, yeah, don't worry. I'm not a blood, but let me tell you. I'm not a blood, but yeah, let me tell you. I just want to make sure she's getting home safe with you. <laughs> this motherfucker a clown, bro. He was ready to risk it all for this girl. Y'all are dumb as fuck, bro. I have mad respect for Yancey for not touching anybody or anything. Nick was the worst person to play this part. They should have gotten yokes. That dude has more money, but Yancey is the dominant male. That's what happened when you use when you guys use real millionaires. Y'all are fucking funny. I had no idea money really had that. I didn't know that was his real house. She could have stayed if she wanted to. She could have stayed there. And they couldn't have did nothing about it. That is funny. I ain't gonna lie to you.